What's up, Panda Nation? Peter from Panda. Hey, you may have seen these high-performance grappling hooks. I've never had one. I've always been intrigued. I've kind of run across them in a number of places, uh, presumably, per particularly, I should say, Amazon. And I've never had a need for one. It's kind of like my ghillie suit. Never had a need for one. Just wanted one. And isn't that reason enough? I love the answer of, like, why, and, and or the question of why, and the answer is... Eh, because I can. And so this is a totally a because I could purchase. I have no need for a grappling hook of any sort, but just wanted to take a look at this because, I don't know, in the videos it looked kind of kind of cool. So it looks like we have this Batarang piece, you know, and this is actually part of what creates the, re the true grappling hook, you know, that you think about like throwing it up in a tree and, and hooking onto something or... Uh, throw it onto a boat and reeling them in or whatever and this is kind of creates the other two blades and i think it somehow it kind of like attaches like this to kind of create that grappling hook now you do have these two silicon o-rings i don't know what any of this is for yet and we also have this which i'm not sure if it's i kind of feel like it's a magnet on a carabiner i guess we'll figure all that out and then this is the the tool itself now from what i've seen just kind of curious how this all works. Um, man, it's kind of strange. Like I've seen in pictures that this is like hanging from a rope and you could drop this down and somehow grab things off the ground. I guess maybe it just works under weight like this, you know? So <laughs> if I were trying to grab this thing, I would just drop this down so it would open up and then kind of like those, you know, arcade games where you're trying to grab stuff kind of when you pull it up closes the jaws so what could that be useful for you know if you drop something on a backpacking trip down a ravine or into crack or you know an area you can't hike down supposedly you could you know use this to lower down grab it and pull it out i mean it does work and it's kind of interesting because it works like because the two as you can see here, kind of the two round edges as it's closed right here and here. If you put pressure on it, the fulcrum's there, so you're kind of pressing it out. And so uh, the pressure up on it opens it up, and then just kind of the weight of everything kind of folds it back down. All right, so you have that. Uh, I still haven't figured out how to get this thing installed. It looks like that would go in there, and then it looks like these lock it in. You know, through that hole is my guess. Okay. Yeah, I guess that's it. So now we have our grappling hook. Uh, but this thing is going to have to stay closed somehow. Because if I'm trying to fling this around and it opens up, that falls out. So I am kind of guessing that there must be something that notches in here to hold it shut. And I'm wondering if you use these O-rings to do that. I can't figure out... I don't see anything else that would indicate to me that they would be used to hold this thing shut. Um, so let me just try putting it on. Slide it over the end here. Roll the O-ring down. I mean, I can kind of force it open if I really need to. And that will uh, kind of drop it out. But maybe I'm supposed to put on both of them. And you could use a zip tie or whatever i mean it probably doesn't have to i don't know require a lot of strength but you just kind of want to hold it shut now i i totally don't know if i'm doing this right i'm just kind of experimenting on camera <laughs> ah which i like to do which i like to do um you're supposed to experiment in college okay so you can see there the two teeth on this side of the 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 clamp and the one uh tooth you know kind of fill this hole pretty neatly so I think that's pretty much it and then it looks like all of the the hooks are basically at the same point and because now I've got two o-rings on there uh I can kind of still open it up and probably get that middle piece out but I don't think that's really the point because once you hook this on something kind of the the weight of pulling on this is going to keep this thing closed even if it's over here it doesn't really matter this is going to keep it closed now one thing I might say is this is pretty robust metal. I bet even my big butt could hang from this without deforming it, but it's also not like a big, 
you know, quarter inch steel plate, but it is pretty solid metal. I mean, this thing has some weight to it. So first of all, we have kind of explored that. Uh, still not entirely sure what this is for, except for, here's my thought, is you clip it to this hook here and you would attach this with a magnet to something to hold this up, you know, or <laughs> hold it in place or something. I don't know why, but you could potentially do it. Now, uh, you'll obviously need paracord or climbing rope or something like that, or, you know, if you're outdoorsy, um, you'll probably have it. But if you don't, if you're trying to use it for something else, you would need something uh, to tie to this. And you would want to make sure it's pretty strong because I don't know what you would be pulling with this, but obviously something like twine or cotton string would probably break or give out much quicker than this thing would. All right. So I can see some uses for it. I mean, I've seen issues where, you know, we've been trying to cross a river and, you know, string a rope across, one for, you know, helping people navigate the river or to kind of zip line uh, packs across the river. So that could be kind of cool. I can see dropping it down to grab things. You know, I haven't had that much trouble with something like that, but it's certainly nice to have that capability. Um, I can also see, you know, maybe uh, using it just as a weight to throw over, a, you know, a, a cross line to hang a bear bag or even to throw it over a tree branch or something like that for a bear bag. You know, so I can definitely see this being useful. Now, on a backpacking trip, this is going to add a lot of weight. This thing is pretty heavy. I'm, I, you know, I'm not sure how this is, how heavy this is, but I would guess even a pound. So it's not the, the smallest or the lightest thing in the world, but it's pretty cool. Now, how much are they? You know, my, from what I've seen, they're about $20. I think I paid like 19 or something for this. Um, and I can kind of see why. There's a lot of, you know, metal on here. There's obviously the, the machining is pretty nice or the stamping or the cutting. Or I don't know if they're, you know, using a, uh, a water jet or something like that, but the edges are, are are pretty nice. You know, there's no really sharp edge. I mean, they're they're sharp, but they're not uncomfortable to touch. You've got some um, screws with, you know, self-locking nuts on them. You have some pretty precision cuts on the two pieces. This is what you'd have to carry this separately. It'd be maybe kind of nice if this attached here. Um, and obviously it comes with everything you need. So right off the bat, I think it's pretty cool. You'll have to decide if you have a $20 need for it though. But I'm going to try to find something to use it on. Maybe I'm going to go climb up some city buildings with it. Peter Von Panda with my grappling hook. Out!